and support the idea of killing sick fox. First time offenders get chemically castrated. Second time offenders just be put on the list to be hunted like deer. I'm not going to shave my head. <sighs> One second. We live in a society where women expect men to be decent. And where men expect women to, you know. I'm so sick and tired of seeing man haters on social media. Because if a man were to go on social media and talk about how much he hates women, people would call him a piece of shit. A woman does it. No one says fucking crap. In the last five years that I've been single, it's only gotten worse. Women and men don't trust each other. Yeah. I'm looking forward to smoking this motherfucker. Netflix will allow the show Cuties, which is disgusting to say the least. Chivalry is dead. Yeah, as soon as men try to be chivalry or nice, it's seen as you're just doing it because you're trying to get laid. And the thing you have to understand, fellas, is that women who think like that have been hurt real bad by some real asshole men. And that ain't right. I hate child molesters. I'm sick and fucking tired of talking about them. This shit's fucking gross. If I could never drink alcohol again, I would sacrifice that. To end sick fucks. That's no joke. And that is some good stuff right there. This is Dr. McKillicuddy's apple pie. Dr. McKillicuddy's makes some good liqueur. Some poor schmuck who's only like 15 or 16 years old being told by his drug counselor, alcohol is bad, you should not drink it. He, then he goes home when he's watching TV here comes a beer commercial featuring some hot chick in a bikini with big ass tits hey stud you want some suds grab an ice cold <sighs> she's dumping the tits the beer all over her tits I almost didn't say that right, but you get the picture. This dude gets all horny because he's at that age, right? <laughs> Poor bastards. Kids are gross. I'm sick and tired of Will Smith being simp shamed. Like, at the same time, it's like, yeah, but Chris Rock wasn't getting violent with you, so, like, but at the same time, it's your wife. Some prick in Scotland raped a couple of women. And at the very last second of getting arrested, this shithead came out as trans. Therefore, they had to let him, with his penis still intact, a dude, go into a female prison. With this shit able to still get hard. I would give up a lifetime of sex. All the booze and tobacco in the world. All the cobras in the world. To end sick fucks. It's just... Ugh, dude. Talking about it gives me anxiety. Because it's just so fucking gross. I know people who have been through some shit. And it's just like... The trolls obsessing over it makes them look like one, to be honest. Like, oh, good job. He got Cobra to repeat himself for the hundredth time. He hates sickos. Wow, okay. Your life is sad. 
The Dr. McKilla Cody's apple pie liqueur is so good. Well, I like the apple pie. I know I'd like all their other flavors. I just got a feeling. You see, like Pamela Anderson, you're like, ha 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 ha. You see, like all the hot chicks from the Friends series. You know, <laughs> yes. <clears throat> now, I'm not saying, oh, hey, someone talks crap about you. You beat the shit out of them. Nah. Even when they got a history of doing it, as a man, it can be hard because it's testosterone, is, it's in us. Yeah. You know, like. <laughs> I'm not trying to be a dick, but when a woman's having her time of the month, bite your head off for every little fucking thing. We just excuse it. Like, well, you know, she just... There's a difference, to be fair. Men can control when they get angry. Just like women can. I don't give a shit if I'm going bald. No, there's an Ozzy guy. <laughs> Shut up! I got a text message. You're 31 years old, balding alcoholic who hasn't been laid in five years. You know, I don't care if I haven't been laid in five goddamn years. Patience pays off. You want to talk all this shit, but you're still going to tune in to watch. The only thing sadder than my drinking is my troll's obsession with me, and that's no joke. Two subreddits. The first one got so bad, they're just like, hey, guys. The majority of these fucking assholes are just sad, miserable, underage punks in their mom's basement. Or there's some fat heroin junkie loser piece of shit who's ugly as shit sitting there trolling Cobra. And it's just like, that's just sad. You're a bunch of pelican fuckers. Mm. And you know what? I may not have had pussy in five years. I'm still sitting here saying fuck sickos. I may be going bald, but I guarantee you, I'm a lot happier than my trolls are in life. I'll tell you that right now. You know that scene in Tombstone where Doc Holliday gets drunk? Maybe poker is just not your game, Mike. Let's have a spelling contest. Well, in this case, King Cobra JFS would be Doc Holiday. And then my trolls would be Ike. Or like when he's just like, say, when. <laughs> Right between the eyes. That would make me Doc Holiday and my trolls Johnny Ringo. These fucking sad sacks of shit. It just shows you how loved I am. And that's why my trolls are miserable. They're jealous of all the attention I get when they give me just as much attention as my fans do. So it's like if you're jealous of the attention someone gets, why are you giving it to them? That's what I really want to figure, YouTube. And I already know the trolls are taking my YouTube videos and YouTube pooping them to make me look like something I'm not. And it's just honestly juvenile, immature, and disgusting. 
And their obsession with it makes them look like one, to be brutally honest. And a bitchin' 31st birthday weekend. I got a bunch of sweet care packages in my mail. I had fans send me a bunch of cigarellos to try out. So Netflix didn't do shit about the movie Cuties being on their platform. A disgusting movie. Just the advertisement for it made me go, nope. I would rather cut my dick off with a fucking chainsaw than watch that disgusting movie, to be honest. And I'm proud of my shit. Like, I don't... That's a bit dramatic, but... You cannot let the trolls get to you. No matter how hard they try, you gotta be one step ahead of their shits. Like, hey, look, King Cobra JFS is the poster person for social media bullying. <laughs> Fuck off. Yeah, that's good stuff. I'll save the rest of that for tomorrow. I hate sickos, and that's what the alcohol tells me. And I don't need alcohol to say it. Arg, YouTube. I'm straight for of age women who are alive, cisgendered, non related, and consenting. If chicks are drooling over Fabio and Magic Mike, nobody says shit. But if a dude is drooling over Pamela Anderson or Kim Kardashian, he's a fucking pig. Yeah, and to be fair, not all women want a monster cock. If it's too big, she's going to be like, nope. Imagine getting cock-blocked by your own cock. That would be some shit, wouldn't it? That's the stuff, tubes. You know, like, women, and women who are so desperate to get married, and they think... That if they suck enough dick, eventually they'll get a wedding ring. I have cut down on my drinking, to be honest. Even if it doesn't look like it on camera. Honestly, I'm sick and tired of talking about sickos on my channel. Because I'm so grossed out by them, it gives me anxiety just thinking of there are people out there who do that nasty shit. It's just like, the fuck is wrong with you? Now, if you don't see me on YouTube, because I'm working on my new story. Like, oh my god, Cobra thinks he can write stories. Honestly, the trolls obsessed with me being one when I ain't one just makes them look like one. And anyone with half a decent brain can see it. Oh, but Netflix wants to host the show Cuties. You disgusting fucking nasty fuckers, dude. I am so sick and motherfucking tired of women bitching about how chivalry is dead in our fucking society and the second men trying to be a chivalristic gentleman. Simp! Simp shamed. 
Do you want personal testimony, God damn it? When I throw on tactical soap, my ugly, stupid, retarded, fat, balding, ugly, fucking bug-eyed, retarded ass gets chicks checking me out because I smell good. Uh, I've seen chicks that were like eight times, ten times out of my league. Okay, I've seen chicks that were way the fuck out of my league checking me out. My guitar playing and my huge of age wang are my most attractive features, but that's kind of beside the point. But you can't just whip your dick out. Chicks have a problem with that. Yeah, gotta be a gentleman about that shit. <sighs> Now, I love tactical soap, especially when I put it on and I go to my local bar. And if it's a Friday night and the chicks are coming in, I like, where's the bathroom in this stinking joint? It's all the way on the other side of the bar. And then you look. And you look. And there is a sea of of age women drinking at the bar. And you're like, I got my soap on. Let's do this shit. Every chick you walk by is going to be going, Damn, that dude smell fresh. I fucking hate sick fox. I hate our fucking society anymore. Like, Netflix is allowed to fire Will Smith for standing up for his wife. But the assholes putting cuties on the Netflix deal. No one says a fucking word. And I'm just like. Ugh. I've ranted. I've raved. I hate sick fucks. And I hate our fucked off society. Do it up, mate. Mm -hmm.